All right, here we have a 2013 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Limited All-Wheel Drive. You got about 60% on Goodyear tires. This is a kitchen sink model. It's as loaded as they come, including the hybrid with a factory heavy tow package. That makes a big difference on these because it's got an oversized engine cooler, oversized starter, over, uh, the hybrid's gonna have the oversized starter anyways, but uh, oversized transmission cooler, oversized alternator. So it's got what you need, the main thing being the transmission cooler for the heavy tow package. It's got the JBL audio system, beautiful condition, leather interior, navigation, backup camera, sunroof, uh, roof rack with crossbars, premium wheels, pretty much everything you can think of. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and open the lift gate. It is a power lift gate. It has, of course, the third row seat as all 2008 and newer Highlanders do. Um, the only ones that didn't have the third row seat were the earlier editions. It's a two passenger third row. There's the button here. This was owned in Vermont for a period of time, but I'll do the undercarriage videos. You look at the bolts. This is a very clean vehicle. So minor surface corrosion. Other than that, the rig is in phenomenal shape. We put new shocks and struts on the front of it. So those are brand new. Um, let's go ahead and dive under there real quick. Like I said, very minimal corrosion on some surface bolts, but even little bolts like this, there's no corrosion on. So really clean, obviously very well taken care of. It looks like it was probably, I bought this from the Toyota dealership locally. Um, it looks like it was probably garaged uh, most of its life and that because the paint's in beautiful condition and, uh, and obviously washed underneath because there's just no no real corrosion to speak of it's all barely surface everything's tight and clean uh, otherwise we don't buy a vehicle that's spent any time on the east coast but like i said this one's really nice and clean like i said you get a little bit on some exposed metal components and i'll zoom in on those like this right here that's just oxidized but everything else is really really good shape so uh, you know, these vehicles are, uh, depending on the day you go into the Toyota dealership, it seems like anymore, they're, uh, anywhere from 50 to $60,000 new. So you get a huge amount of value in this with the mileage it has on it, which I will look at here in just a minute. Cause I don't remember the exact mileage. Let's see here, 112,000 miles. This has got, I mean, worlds of life left in it. At that, one of the best vehicles built. Uh, I've got this, if you come out in person, I've got this sitting out here. This guy had a 2006, uh, 2006 Toyota Highlander Hybrid. Hit a million miles, original engine, original transmission, original hybrid battery. That's the first ever Highlander hit a million miles on it, and it was the hybrid. So they're absolutely phenomenal. Toyota gave him a brand new one for doing that, and then he lost that one in a flood uh, shortly after it was inspected and hit the million mile mark. And then Toyota brought him in and said they're going to give him a brand new one. So he was obviously very excited there which Toyota often does if you hit a million miles, original engine, original transmission, and in this case, original hybrid battery from 2006. This has third generation battery cell technology, so far superior to, uh, owner's manual in there, far superior to uh, the battery that was even in his, and there's, Sky's the limit on how far these things will run if they're taken care of. And this one has been very well taken care of. Very well taken care of. Uh, this center section here, you can pop out. You can put in here. And then this section pops down in here with the cup holders. So either way, you can store it. If you want to use this as a walkthrough access, 
You've got the armrests that come down there. You've got cup holders here. This vehicle is, you will not be disappointed in the condition of this vehicle. You come out here, take a look at it, drive it home. It runs and drives extremely well. Like I said, we just had the shocks and struts on the front replaced. They were barely starting to seep. Still run down the road really nice, but when we took it in to get its inspection done, that's what they said it needed, so we went ahead and did it. They did a couple other, I think they did another st steering component. I don't remember exactly what it was when they were in there. Uh, 112,244 as it sits. I'll put a little fuel in it. We try and send everything out with a full tank. It's in EV mode right now. There you go. The air conditioning's on, so it went ahead and fired up. You have uh, heated seats here, cup holders, true keyless entry, push button start, full factory navigation system, confirm, power sliding sunroof. There's that. You've got <coughs> your display here where you can change what fuel, like all your different modes from up here. You can change your temperature from up here. Of course, you have dual side climate control, audio. It's the JBL audio system, really nice sound quality. Let's go ahead and pop it in reverse. There's your full screen backup camera. Yeah, everything you could want and more. An extremely good value in this vehicle at its price. Um, don't miss out on it. We don't get them in very often, especially in this condition. I will go out here while it's running and uh, give you one more overall of the vehicle and we'll call that a video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.